Welcome back. What better way for a passionate baker to describe some of her favorite people than by comparing them to desserts? For me, Suresh Daguwati, my dearest uncle, is a chocolate brownie salted caramel trifle. He is the rock of our family. No matter where we are and what we're doing, he is the reason we all come back and anchor at the same port. This dessert not only describes his personality but also has some of his favorite flavors. Now let's make this dessert first and we'll come back to the comparison later. For this dessert, we need five things. Chocolate brownie, salted caramel, salted caramel mousse, chocolate sauce, and whipped cream. Let's start with the salted caramel. In a pan, add the sugar and water. The caramel is gonna take about eight to nine minutes to start bubbling or turning brown. So in the meantime, we can make our chocolate ganache. For this, I'm going to put some heavy cream in a pan and warm it up until it just starts to bubble. Here we have 70% dark chocolate. And once your cream is come to a boil, just pour over the cream slowly on top of your chocolate, making sure you cover all the tops. Leave it like this for about 30 seconds and then stir. If some of the chocolate hasn't melted, just pop it in the microwave with 10 second intervals, stirring between each interval until everything is well combined. Be extremely careful when you're making caramel because this stuff is as hot as lava and it can burn your skin in seconds. If you see any sugar crystals forming at the edges, that's normal. Use a pastry brush with water and dissolve the crystals like this. Once the sugar changes into a dark amber color like this, it's time to act quickly. Add the vanilla into the cream, turn off the heat and pour the cream into the sugar. It'll start to bubble vigorously, so be very careful. Stir continuously until it stops bubbling. Once it stops bubbling, add the sea salt. I like using sea salt over table salt because the flavor the sea salt gives this caramel is incredible. And there you go, the salted caramel sauce is ready. Leave it aside to cool and it will thicken up a little bit by the time you have to use it for your trifle. This is the consistency of the cool thick caramel. Good thing about caramel is it doesn't go bad. It can stay for weeks even outside. All you have to do is just put it in an airtight jar, store it in the fridge and you can use it on top of your ice cream. You can put it in crepes. It has countless options. Yeah, look at that. Yum. I just finished whipping some cream. We're gonna use half of this mixture for the salted caramel mousse and the other half for the trifle layers. For the salted caramel mousse, we're first going to cream our cream cheese until soft and smooth. Once your cream cheese is nice and smooth like this, we are gonna add the salted caramel we made earlier. Once all that's incorporated, you can add your vanilla and half your whipped cream. For the whipped cream, introduce it little by little. First put tiny blob and fold it in quickly. This is going to help lighten the mixture. It'll be easier to incorporate the rest of the cream after this. Put half of this whipped cream and fold it gently. Mm. 
We don't want to lose the air that we worked so hard to get. Okay. Once that's all well incorporated, you can put it in the fridge with the rest of the whipped cream until you have to assemble the trifle. For the base of the trifle, we need a brownie. It's a crucial layer. I already made this brownie before, but if you want to see how to make my basic everyday brownies, message in the comment section below. Let me show you how fudgy and gooey they look. I added pecans in this because I love pecans and they just go very well with this trifle. Okay, let me show you. Some dark chocolate chips, some pecans, and the fudgy brownie. Now for the grand assembly. Make sure you have all the ingredients for your layers organized and in front of you, so it's easy for you to assemble. Our first layer, bottom layer, is gonna be the delicious fudgy brownie. Ooh. Make sure you get them in all the nooks. Last one. Oh, he can never have enough brownie. On top of that goes the delicious salted caramel you made. Put a little bit on the sides of the bowl so you can, people can see what the layers are made of. Okay, on top of that goes your salted caramel mousse. On top of that goes your delicious chocolate sauce. Again, put some on the glass so people know what's in there. Then, you can sprinkle some pecans for some added crunch. Next is a lovely layer of whipped cream. Yum. Then, repeat. That's good. Some more of our salted caramel. Now for our final decoration, just sprinkle some extra salted caramel and some chocolate sauce and swirl it around. someone who is simple, practical, and gets things done. To me, he's an all-in-one package like this trifle. He is intelligent, warm, supportive, funny, and dependable. Combining so many desserts in one dish brings out the child in him. It reminds me of my childhood when I used to use birthday parties to fill my dessert cup to the brim. My uncle mirrors this given that he is playful at heart and shows this side only to his closest family. His family is his life. Just like the brownie in this trifle, he takes the weight of the whole world on his shoulders but he makes the burden seem like it's as light as whipped cream. So that's it for today guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on my future recipes and adventures. As usual, the full recipe is in the description box below. When you do make this recipe, don't forget to tag me at Infinity Plateau on Instagram. See you later!